thrown into pits and chicken coops and kept there for days as punishment, beaten a number of times, sodomized with foreign objects, he was utterly terrorized, attacked and strangled nearly to death, forced to help murder another kid and then destroy his body. Scrub desert in every direction. There wasn't the escape for it. This book took more out of me than anything else I've ever done. I call the book The Road Out of Hell because it isn't just a little boy's time in hell at this awful murder ranch. It's about how he got out of that awful place. By the time Sanford Clark was brought to this murder farm here, he'd already been in his uh, uncle's company for several weeks. He'd been kidnapped up in Canada and driven down here. Gordon Stewart Northcott was convicted of murdering three of his victims. And Sanford Clark, the survivor, said that there were at least 20 victims. At first, Sanford wasn't even believed until they started digging around in the chicken coops and coming up with human remains. The first couple times that Jerry Clark approached me wanting to do this story about his dad, uh, I said no. It's the murders of little boys. I mean, who wants to get into that? The thing that got me captured here was his father, Sanford Clark, and the way he recovered from this. It's why the book's called The Road Out of Hell. I may not have met Sanford Clark, but I've seen the trail he left behind. And part of it's in his son, Jerry, of a guy who just wants to honor his dad. And here's a picture that I think says it all. This always reminds me of the moods he would get into sometimes. So he's, this is the way he would be when he was starting to get lost when in his When he was thoughts, starting to get lost and he would be depressed and everything. Yeah, he'd just sit there with that blank look on his face. He had gone through all these hard times through this Riverside episode. He was really afraid that the story would be told to me by somebody else. The only way he started it out was I'm going to talk to you once about this and I don't ever want to talk about it again. Dad told me, Aunt Jessie, she went out to the chicken ranch. He was worried for her, but she forced it out of my dad that, you know, that Stuart had been messing with him and that uh, he had to help Stuart murder these, these kids and get rid of the bodies. And she was, she was scared and she took off but the truth is as soon as she got back to Canada is when she she went to immigration and told him about what had happened. Gordon Stewart Northcott was not only tried convicted and hung but the community itself didn't even want to be called Wineville anymore it's now called Miraloma. When they heard this Holocaust visited upon this boy Sanford Clark the uh, the prosecutor Loyal Kelly realized that Sanford wasn't a perpetrator of these crimes Fortunately, he found this place, the Whittier School for Boys, that had this very forward-thinking rehabilitation program. Clearly, that school was instrumental in saving this kid. Dad thanked many people for being normal. My father was a very oh, humble man. And uh, I, I can honestly say I have never heard one person say a bad thing, and I would bet everything I've got that you can't find a person anywhere that say a bad thing about Sanford Clark and that I, I'm sure.